I feel better now than I have in years. But two months ago, I had a heart attack. At the time, it came as a real shock. Although now, looking back, it shouldn't have been a surprise. When I got to the hospital, they admitted me directly to the heart unit. My doctor ordered several tests. My nurse told me to call immediately if I had any shortness of breath or discomfort in my chest, neck, jaw, arms, shoulder blades, or back. I was physically and emotionally devastated. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. I had always prided myself in being active, healthy, and now I was lying in a hospital bed. My doctor told me the test showed I had a heart attack, damage to the heart muscle. A heart attack. I thought my life was over. He said the chest discomfort I thought was indigestion was actually caused by my heart not getting enough blood supply. My doctor explained that most heart attacks are caused by coronary artery disease. Over the years, fatty deposits had built up on the inner wall of my coronary arteries, decreasing the supply of blood to my heart muscle. My heart attack happened when a coronary artery became blocked, cutting off the blood supply to part of my heart, injuring that area. He explained the different kinds of treatment for heart attack, including medical treatment, coronary intervention like angioplasty or stent to open the artery, or open heart surgery. He said I would have to stay in the hospital a few more days so they could do more tests to determine the best treatment plan for me. I had to increase my activity gradually. I started by sitting up in a chair and walking to the bathroom with my nurse's help. I was told to avoid tensing muscles or straining. I was tired and depressed, and I was afraid I wouldn't be able to live a normal life. The nurse assured me that it's natural to feel fear, shock, disbelief, and even anger. I wondered how I'd ever get over these feelings. That first shower felt so good, even though I still tired easily. I was able to walk with my portable heart monitor several times a day, as long as I rested about an hour between my activities and built up my distance gradually. My nurse reminded me that if I had any discomfort, felt short of breath or lightheaded while walking, I needed to stop and let him know. Had a heart attack. Now that I was gaining strength physically and getting closer to going home, my wife and I had a lot of questions. We wanted to know which activities I could and wouldn't do during the healing period. My nurse told me that heart heals by forming scar tissue, which takes about two weeks or longer. He told me I needed to ask my doctor when I could drive and return to work. We also learned how soon we could resume sexual activity. I began to understand the risk factors for heart disease and how important it was to recognize the ones I would change to slow down or stop the progression of coronary artery disease. I hadn't been getting the right kind of exercise. My diet was high in fat, and probably the biggest risk factor and hardest to change was that I'd smoked for 28 years. John, this is 
some information about quitting smoking. Since I hadn't been able to smoke in the hospital, I figured I'd gotten the first and hardest days out of the way. I knew I had a big battle ahead of me, but after all I had been through, I knew I could do it. Yeah, this is something that you're going to need to do in order to... Well, limited salt. The dietitian met with us and gave us lots of good information on how to reduce the cholesterol and other fats in our diet. I learned how important it is to work towards my ideal body weight to decrease my risk. She helped us develop a plan to make these changes gradually. I love to eat, but I found I wasn't really giving up good food. I was just learning to make better choices, eat smaller portions, and new ways to prepare what I ate. It was great to be home. The hardest part was realizing that my heart was still healing, and even though I felt a lot better, I still had to rest between activities, such as showering, eating, and walking. I couldn't do any heavy lifting or straining while I was healing. It felt good to continue increasing my daily walks. While I was healing, my wife and kids helped me by taking over things that I normally do, like taking out the garbage, carrying groceries, and mowing the lawn. Having family and friends nearby allowed us to share our feelings and concerns and enabled me to adjust to the emotions I had. I was thankful for the support. One of the most helpful things I did was to get more information about changing my lifestyle. There are many good resources in the community. I joined an outpatient cardiac rehabilitation program where I can exercise to the best of my ability and with confidence. The rehab program also helps with managing other risk factors such as diet and stress. More than anything else, I don't want this to happen again. I realize that it's my responsibility to make the changes necessary to reduce my risk of another heart attack. And it's a lifetime commitment. I've learned to take one day at a time. And you know, it feels pretty good to make some positive changes in my life. It took a while to get my confidence back. Now I do everything I used to, but I'm learning to pace myself, set priorities, and appreciate the important things in life.